a big deal. Crate training. It's not so bad. Stay tuned. I'm going to talk more about the crate. If you use the crate while you're home for short periods of time and extra special rewards are given while you're home, your puppy will very quickly learn, hey, this isn't such a bad place to be. But if you only use the crate when you leave and when you go to bed at night, jail, scary, bars, confinement, punishment. That's why everyone freaks out, because you think of it as punishment, because you're accidentally using it as punishment. You don't mean to, but it happens. You will feel better about your puppy being in the crate if you notice that they feel better in it. So crate training, what's the deal? Well, I'll tell you, if you only use the crate when you leave and when you go to bed at night, your dog has very quickly learned every time I get in this stupid thing, somebody takes off, somebody leaves me. So they won't look forward to your absence. They won't look forward to going in the crate. So the trick is use it for short periods of time while you're home with extra special food rewards. I always encourage people to have certain rewards that you use just solely for the crate. Maybe that's the only time they get a treat filled Kong, or maybe that's the only time they receive a certain type of you know, allergy free um, treat that they look forward to is when they're in the crate. Another trick. Make sure that you don't open the door and give them a ton of love and affection and touch and praise and pick them up and carry on because then you're reinforcing the act of coming out of the crate instead of being in it. So make sure that you give them a lot of love. Well, there's no dog in here right now, but if there was, I'd be talking to them, patting them right through the bars. You do the treats right through the bars, okay? And attention and affection by just touch and praise and petting and just reassurance that you're near and then that's it. When you open the door, it's straight out for potty. And then we're reinforcing going to the bathroom outside instead of reinforcing being, you know, coming out of the crate. So we want to make the good stuff be on the inside, not coming out. Another tip, we never use our crate for punishment, ever, ever, ever. We shouldn't even be punishing your dog, period, but certainly never using the crate for punishment or they're definitely not going to want to have anything to do with the crate. These tips will definitely help to ensure that your puppy is comfortable and feels safe inside the crate when you're not home. We have to make sure that they feel safe and secure when you are home before we start using the crate only when you're gone. So it's important to crate train before you start using it in your absence. Gradually increase, again, the length of time that you're gone, and then you'll be sure when you're away and at work and you're gone for a period of time that your puppy is safe and sound. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you found it helpful. If you subscribe, we'll see you next week. One other trick. Make sure that you don't open the love. Open the love. What am I, a hippie?